Well, hello there. How are you doing today? You feel like doing a little bit of DIYing with me today? Come on in. Let's get started. What do I have going on for you for today? Well, it's the last DIY using those round DIYable wood plaques that you can get from Dollar Tree, Michaels, Joann's, Hobby Lobby, even Walmart. These are such fun, versatile plaques that you can DIY with and have an amazing wall decor piece. I've been having so much fun DIYing with them. The inspiration is real. Today, I'm bringing to you the last DIY that I've made using these. So guess what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna quit my gabbin, let's jump into it, and let's do some DIYing on a budget. Because why not? Because we can, and that's what we do here. Let's get to it. Who is today's KB Creations Crafter of the Day? You'll wanna stick around to the end of the video to see if it's your creation that's being featured in today's video. If you're interested in being featured as a crafter of the day in one of my videos, submit a picture of one of your recreations of a DIY that I've done to either Facebook or Instagram. If you wanna DM it to me, you can. Then you just simply have to look out for the end of each video to see if it's your DIY that I will be featuring in that given video. If you haven't seen my previous two videos, these are the wood DIYable plaques that I picked up from Hobby Lobby. These are a 14 inch plaque. To this, I'm gonna use some of Minwax's Early American Stain. And I'm gonna apply it with a sponge applicator. I'm not gonna use a rag and wipe off the excess stain because this wood is so dry that it's just going to absorb the excess stain, making this an even richer, more beautiful brown. Early American Stain is hands down one of my favorite brown stains to use because of the rich, rustic color that you get from it. Minwax has so many different stain colors and different shades. There is bound to be one that suits your style. So I say get creative and make it your own DIY if you don't like early American stain. Once this stain is good and dry, you're gonna need some painter's tape for this DIY. And guess what? The best place to get it is none other than Dollar Tree. You're gonna get 17.5 yards of painter's tape by tool bench for $1.25. So pick some up. I'm gonna place a strip along the top third of my plaque here. Waverly's Cashew. Hands down, my absolute favorite color when using those creams or off-whites because it has such a perfect rustic tint to it. Now, because this is painter's tape, we're not gonna get any bleedage when we paint the top third of this plaque. And I'm gonna give it a good couple coats. And it's probably gonna need it. Usually Waverly's a one coat paint, but because I use some stain, it may need a coat or two. Now wait for it because the satisfaction is real. Maybe a little bit nerve wracking when you go to pull back that tape to see if there's any bleedage and there's not. Look at how perfect that line is. Now if there's a bit of bleedage, just go in with your paintbrush and kind of smooth out those edges right along that line and you're gonna be good to go. Oh my goodness, I am loving the contrast between the cashew and that early American stain. These hello signs from Dollar Tree are one of my favorite things. They come on this wood stand and you can easily unscrew them and remove them. Why do I like these? Because I'm a person, if you've been following me for a while, you know I like to add dimension to my DIYs. I don't like to put plaques or words flat on a DIY because I feel like when you add dimension, it adds personality and character and it kind of elevates your DIY to another level. So you can see here that I am just having a heck of a time removing this. It really is easy. This is one of those uh, screwdrivers from Dollar Tree. Pick it up. It comes with a bunch of attachments. Anywho, once I've got it removed, I'm going to go in with some black matte paint 
and using a sponge dabber, I'm going to dab that paint on. And I'm going to use a sponge dabber, not a paintbrush, because when you try to apply paint to these galvanized pieces using a paintbrush, you're going to get brush strokes. You're going to get uneven coverage, and it's going to take several coats to get the coverage, full coverage that you're looking for. But trick of the trade, if you use a sponge dabber, you're gonna get full coverage in just about one coat. And not only are you gonna get that full coverage, but you're gonna get some texture to it. That is an added bonus. To this plaque, I went to Walmart and I did go shopping in the floral section. Walmart about this time every year has these unbelievable sunflowers. You're gonna pay $3.88 a stem, but let me tell you they are worth it because you see how big it is. It is such a beautiful flower, and I knew it was gonna be perfect for this DIY, so using some hot glue, I'm gonna hot glue it off to the side here just a bit, and by gluing it off to the side, it's gonna make your DIY look bigger, rather than sticking the flower within, I guess, the premises of this plaque. And so by offsetting it, it gives the illusion that this is a bigger piece than it really is. The leaves that I'm using to add to this plaque are the leaves that actually came on the stem with this sunflower for $3.88. And I will tell you, I might have spent a small fortune in these sunflowers because I love them so much. To the back, we are back to the hello here. Yes, to the back of it, I'm gonna use some Dollar Tree's wood cubes because they are the perfect height for these galvanized pieces from that lip there that's on the bottom of it. And so by placing a few right on the back, I can easily then hot glue it on to my plaque and it's gonna make it a bit more sturdy because there's more adhered onto the plaque. Here at the bottom, I have this galvanized um, word that I painted that says sunshine. I don't know where I got it, quite honestly. Not sure, but it is now on the plaque because it says, hello, sunshine. Then I realized that my galvanized uh, word needed a touch up and the blocks underneath were showing a bit. So I decided to go in, touch them up, hide those blocks. We are done. On the back side of this, there is some twine that is actually just hot glued onto the back that is gonna act as a hanger. Let's go take a look at this piece. It was quick, it was easy, it was budget friendly. And would you look at the outcome of this? Who is today's KB Creations Crafter of the Day? Well, it's going out to Michelle, who's bringing to us her recreation of my DIY Dollar Tree mushroom lamps. Michelle, I am loving your recreation. Thank you so much for sharing it with us today. Please tell me you all aren't tired of these fun little clips with our life with Winnie and Biza. Here's another fun one. What? What? Is it your favorite snack? Oh, is it your favorite snack, Winnie? Hi, beautiful girl. Lisa, is it your favorite snack? Okay, sit. Sit. Oh, ah, 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 ah. sit. Stay. Oh, well, aren't you just the cutest things ever? Stay. And, ah, ah. no, get back there. Sit. Thank you. We'll try it again. Yeah, you're the cutest things ever. Do you want the pig ears? Do you love pig ears? Okay, stay. Stay. Oh, an old one here. Stay. Are you the good poppers? Oh yeah. Do you want your treat? Are you waiting for the signal? Okay, get your treat. You loving the pig ears? Oh, there she goes. Oh yeah, what a good girl. Okay, yeah, but he knows how to use her paws. These are not so good. She hasn't caught on to that yet. I love their crunches. They have the cutest crunches ever. Ever. 
Hi, Sissy. We're at Ray's house. Oh, you're such a good girlfriend. When I told you that all three of these plaques were a different style, I wasn't lying to you. I think it is so fun to create that way and come up with different styles. Again, I will apologize to each and every one of you. I could have very easily put all three of these, well, not easily. No, no, let's take the easily word out of that. I could have put all three of these in one video, but I just don't have the time to DIY multiple DIYs for one video and do that several times a week. And when I don't upload more than once a week, the YouTube algorithm dings me. And so not to get dinged and avoid that, I figured I would do these DIYs that I did have time for, but break them up into three separate videos. So that way my channel doesn't tank and my views don't tank. And yeah, I'm still bringing to you great content just in shorter versions, not so long of a video. I hope that's okay with you all. I appreciate each and every one of you who are supporting my channel and continuing to watch my content through this busy time in my life. I am seeing to my family, I want you all to know that, but creating is my passion, it is my therapy, and it's what I need to do, quite honestly, to keep my wits about me. And so, when I do have the time, I come home from Ray's house, I do a bit of DIY, and it really just kind of is my zen place. And so I think if you're going through a rough time, you should definitely work with your hands, maybe create DIY, because it really does kind of mellow me out and brings a calm to an otherwise chaotic time in my life. Anyway, I hope you all enjoyed this week's DIYs using those round plaques. I had a lot of fun creating them. If you're looking for more DIY inspiration, well, don't be afraid to tap on the end screen right over here and it'll take you to some of my past favorites. Until next time, everybody, I hope you have a fantastic day. Happy crafting on a budget. Stay happy, stay safe, stay healthy. Most of all, you know what I'm gonna say. Stay positive, please, because I am. Bye for now.